Hi, this is Gary from Teacher Transformation. And in this video, we're going to show you how to add bank holidays to your project plans. This video will show you how to add non-working days such as bank holidays or public holidays to your project plan so that when predecessors are in use, tasks are not allocated to these days. To do this, you must be the owner of the project plan or have admin level permissions. Editors, commenters and viewers cannot make this change. If you have one of those permissions, please ask the sheet owner or an admin to make the changes for you. It's a very simple plan I'm going to use to demonstrate this. Three of the tasks fall on United Kingdom bank holidays in May 2020. That is those shown in yellow. I'm going to add these dates to the project settings so that when I use predecessors, the plan does not allocate tasks to those days. We start by clicking the project settings cog in the top corner. If you don't have this cog, don't have the right permissions, i.e. you're not an owner or an admin of this sheet. We'll be working in the dependency settings and we're working in the working days area. So the first thing to do is click edit. Now this is going to show you the working days that are set for your account and the length of day hours. You can select or deselect any of these days by clicking in or clicking out and that will take all those days out. And again with the length of days you can change that to suit whatever is right for your organisation. Add non-working days, that is bank holidays, public holidays, company shutdowns, etc. Use the scroll bar to roll down to the bottom of your list. If you've got no days in here already, just begin on the first line. But as you can see, I have non-working days up to April 2023, so I need to add the ones for the rest of the year. And there are three types of ways of doing this. First of all, you can free type, so I will add the 1st of May. Second option is to choose the calendar, and again, just toggle through till you get to the day you want. And as you can see, Dates that are already in this bank holidays are highlighted for you. So the next bank holiday after the 1st of May is the 8th of May this year. So again, you can see that's added straight away. And just pull this back down. And finally, the third option is to copy and paste an entire list from somewhere else. So I've already set up my list, so I'm just going to paste those in. There we go. And as long as there is a comma between each of the dates, that will be fine. You can, of course, add several reels, years of dates at a time if you know them. If you're a system administrator, you'll see this statement and tick box as well. So if I click on the I, you can see the information behind that. This gives you the option to switch on these dates for everyone in the account. So for all project plans that are created from now on. But please be aware it is for everyone. So please be sure that everyone in your account will want this before you click it. This being United Kingdom holidays I'm adding, of course I'm adding them in the United Kingdom format, but please add them in the date format that your account is set to. So as soon as I save this, so I'm going to press OK and OK here, you can see that my three dates in yellow, which were the 1st, the 8th and the 29th of May, have all shunted forward one day to account for the fact that there should be no working on the dates that I have added. If at any point something changes in the bank holidays, particularly if you put them in quite far in advance, i.e. several years ahead, and you need to go back and change them. Then again, you go back to edit project settings, edit your working days, and just delete the date that you don't want or is no longer uh, relevant for you. And again, press OK, and that would save it. And that's all you have to do to add new dates of public holidays, bank holidays, and so on, that you want predecessors to ignore and not allocate tasks to. Thanks for watching, and for further details on our free and paid Smartsheet training courses, please visit the training and events section on our website at www.cheetahtransformation.co.uk. Alternatively, contact us directly on help at cheetahtransformation.co.uk to arrange a call to discuss your requirements further.